Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood, head of a double header of games in the National League South. Adam, we'll just pull it back to last Saturday and Braintree away. Um, obviously, the game ended in defeat, but there were quite a few promising signs in it. Uh, an early goal uh, for Oli Pierce as well, probably being a highlight of that. What were your positives you took from that game? Um, just large parts of the, the first half, I thought, were some really good football. Um, you know, we've come up against the press. Um, before and you know try to miss it out and go into our forward players and it didn't really work and this time we try to play through it and you know full credit to the players I thought they were brave and you know we did carve up some opportunities playing through them and there's some really good stuff to take from that um, but yeah it's um, lots of lots of positives like I say first half second half probably didn't create nowhere near as much um, for whatever reason um, but you know we just got to stay on the positives and 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 stick to to what we what we do best and and our game plan and you know that's always the focus. Uh, win, lose, or draw. We always analyse ourselves and and see what we can do better. And there's still lots for us to progress on. Yeah, well, one positive from those uh, from that game early on that press you're talking about, Ibia Canby came in for his debut. What did you make of him in the end, and what do you think he can bring to us coming forward? Yeah, I thought like when it got played into him, um, showed different sides to his game. Um, thought he ran the channel a couple of times. Well, he obviously backed into his player, and it was a um, you know someone that we could play into and play off, um, which was which was a real positive for us as well. Um, so yeah, I thought like again, a bit like a lot of the players really. Thought five minutes was very good and didn't see as much of him in, in the second half uh, for whatever reason, whether it's a fitness thing or whatever, but. Yeah, that's that's got to be our challenge now. Uh, we want a good performance for ninety minutes, and um, you know our, we owe our fans a little bit. There's a few, especially at home, we haven't been nowhere near good enough at home. Um, and yeah, there's a few disgruntled looks and comments and stuff when we got back on the coach from the supporters. Um, whether that's rightly so or not, I don't know. Um, you know, we not got a team, a, a squad. We've got a um, you know, a budget that competes with these teams. So, uh, you know, I think the expectations just got to be horned in a little bit. And you know, we've done very well in the last uh, few seasons. Um, but to expect us to just carry it on again is a bit unrealistic, in my opinion. So, you know, it was two one. Conceded eighty sixth minute. Um, so yeah, we just got to have a little focus on on where we are as a club. Yeah, well, it's two big games, and as you mentioned, it has been a little bit tricky at home so far. There hasn't been a win on a Saturday at home yet. So is that the main objective from these two games, to, to probably put that right? Not necessarily. I think it's to, you know, put a good performance in together. Um, you know, we had two really good away performances and only picked up draws. Um, really good, I thought, for, for large, large parts of them games. So if we can get back to that, that would be a pleasing pleasing start. Um, I honestly believe if we perform like that in the majority of our games, um, then we'll win more than we lose and we'll collect more points. But, you know, we we, we can't just put the sole focus on um, winning the game. Um, you know, start early on in the season, we probably didn't play brilliantly at times and, you know, Harrison got us out of um, a whole one or two occasions and we end up getting last minute winners um, and then we've probably played better than that um, and you know not quite got the win so it's a real tough league and I think it's a fair honest league you know there's not much between the teams there's not much um, in the games and you know we just got to learn to deal with certain situations a bit better um, you know the one thing that we showed a bit of naivety maybe playing out quickly um, on 86th minute when you're away from home um, and that causes a bit of a problem so you know and all you can ask myself included that we learn and improve and that's what we're looking to do um, you know you can't ask any more than that from anyone really and this group of players and myself and we're learning um, all the time and you know we want to try and put that right it has been a four week of training for you two sessions this week uh, it was two sessions last week as well how's that been for you to be with the players a little bit more on the training ground going ahead into games that is good, yeah. I think sometimes um, you want to just play. The next game can't come quick enough, really. And like I say, there's no reason to be 
doom and gloom. I mean, I'm pretty sure the fans got a realistic expectation. Don't expect us to go and boss game for 90 minutes at, at this sort of level. Um, you know, I think in large parts we're showing some good stuff. Um, and like I say, it's fine, fine margins, like I said to you before. Um, so, yeah, obviously um, we want to, you know, pick up with, with some positive results and we'd look to do that. But, um, you know, they've got a the, the work rate, the enthusiasm and everything like that's still there in abundance. So, you know, as long as we've got that and the togetherness of the squad, then you know, I'm pretty sure that we'll start picking up results again. You say about wanting the games to come quick and fast and come straight into them. It's kind of come for this week, Saturday at home to Taunton, Tuesday away at Dulwich Hamlet, which could be quite a tricky trip as well. So two big games in a little short space of time. How do you feel going into that? And is it quite a positive to just be able to have those games come quick and fast like that? Yeah, in, in some ways, like I say, you just want to get back out there and play and, and um, you know put things right and put things that you've learnt right straight away. Um, so yeah, it's 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 um, we've had some weeks of training and now we've got a, a full week and it's an opportunity to try and get some more points on the table and that's what we're looking to do. Um, like I say, we just want to build on our performances, um, keep on improving, and um, like I say I think the let the results. Uh, take care of himself, but let's focus on our, ourself and our performance. How are the squad looking going into those two games? Fitness-wise, there's been a few knocks and a few injuries at the moment. Who might be available and who might be coming in? No, yeah, it's, 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 it happens, doesn't it, when you sort of have, pick up a couple of bad results, you seem to then get some injuries, some suspension to come along at the same time. Um, so, yeah, we assess Kane and Danny Barker, both probably looking unlikely for Saturday. Obviously Aaron's suspended. Um, Joel's still out. Um, then we've got yeah, Jake probably going to have his operation next week. Um, so hopefully you know, that's successful and wish him all the best for that. Um, um, yeah, Tati concussed, um, so he'll miss his last game hopefully. Uh, yeah, and with that we've got um, you know, Dan Bowery hopefully back now, Luca been recalled from Horsham to give us just a bit more options at the back um, and yeah other than that I think everyone's fit and ready to go so I'd say opportunity for other players to, to showcase themselves.